Let's take a look at this Wi-Fi dev board by Geek Eyes. It is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi dev board. So it offers additional capabilities in that 5 gigahertz range. It comes with this case on it, which is nifty. It also came with these GPIO pin protectors, which are also cool. You can take those off. And it came with this manual. The manual is important because it has the URL that can get you the FAP for the Flipper Zero to run the correct FAP for this, for this chip. And you have to run their FAP. So it's a good idea when you get this to take note of the URL address and keep it. So let's spin it up and see what happens. I loaded the FAP on here already and this thing is ready to go. So let's see what happens here. So first thing we'll do is plug it in, turn it on. And we will go to the app. I put it in GPIO. I'm running uh, the Momentum firmware right now. ESP. And here's the FAP that I loaded. It's called the 5G Wi-Fi D off. And it has two functions, scan Wi-Fi and show Wi-Fi. So when I scan Wi-Fi, here I go. It's telling me to wait and it's going to Give me a list of everything. And there's 29 things on the list. I can go through here and choose things that I want to do a deauth attack on. And I do that attack and I've done it on a number of things and it works pretty well, especially on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So the way this app works is I can press something right now, boom, and it's going to send those deauth attacks. I can stop the attack by going back, and it stops the attack. Now, I notice down here there's some instructions. It says left for multi. So if I hit the left button, it opens up a little area right here, and I can tap and go down and tap and go down and choose things as as I want or deselect things. So if I notice, okay, this is channel six, 2.4. Let's go over here. Oh, this is also channel six. It's got pretty much the same um, um, range. So I want to deauthenticate both of those. So now when I'm going to, I'm sorry, deauth both of those. So when I press back on this, it's going to start the deauth attack. And there we go. It started the deauth attack. So within these two functions, I see really three things. One is the ability to scan. So I can scan and see what channel my wireless or wireless connections around me are in the five gigahertz range as well, which is very important. Then when I show my list in here, I see really two functions. One is to do a single attack and one is to do multi-attacks. And it's a fun, quick board. I got it on Amazon. So it was real easy to get, came really fast, which was nice. It worked really well as soon as I uh, loaded. It even mentions in the in the instruction manual here and on, I believe the Amazon website, that you wanna be running Momentum firmware. It specifically mentions that. It, it calls it MNT, MTNM, that's what it calls it, MTNM, Momentum Firmware. And it wants you running that firmware. And when you go on their site, it has a link to the Momentum Firmware and a link to download the FAP to load so that you can run the 
this app with this firmware here on the chip. So yeah. And when you, you can unscrew these to release it from the case, I guess if you ever wanted to reflash the chip. It's not an ESP32, so I really haven't messed, tried to mess with the chip because it's something that is a little more foreign to me. But who knows, I might go for it. But yeah, that's what you have to do. You run the Momentum firmware, you download the FAP, you plug it in, and bam, you are ready to go. And the DAUTH works very, very well, especially on those 2.4 gigahertz networks.